How much sleep do you usually get? Six and a half hours ish. Eight, seven, seven, six or seven. Five or six. Not five six. Hours. Five hours. Six. Five or six. Oh, four, yeah. six. Three to five. Three hours. Two to four. Two to three. Zero. I didn't get any sleep at all. Nine and a half hours. Nine and a half hours is the ideal amount of sleep to get for the average teenager, according to Dr. Melinda Smith. However, in schools all over the world, only about 8% of high school students manage to attain that amount of sleep on a school night. Sleep deprivation is when you constantly don't get enough sleep, thus impairing your capability to think properly and can lead to many health problems. It is a common issue that affects anyone, teens, adults, and even kids, specifically students. In a recent survey, we asked around 120 students from local Bay Area schools asking students ranging from 9th grade to college. The research concluded that 80% stay up past 10 p.m. For a majority of the time, 42% claim to stay up because of schoolwork. With the stress and pressure of doing well in school as well as being occupied with outside problems, students often get into unhealthy habits such as skipping breakfast and going to school even when they're late. A huge issue many students face is sleep deprivation, usually from working on schoolwork late at night. Sleep deprivation has many harmful effects and is a very serious issue that needs to be addressed. It is alarming that the teen stress experience is so similar to that of adults. It is even more concerning that they seem to underestimate the potential impact that stress has on their physical and mental health, says APA CEO and Executive Vice President Norman B. Anderson, PhD. With this trend gradually increasing, a number of mental and physical illnesses occur very commonly in today's world. With a lack of sleep, students are more prone to complications such as insomnia, depression, exhaustion, weakened immune system, and memory problems. And with these complications, they make it even harder to sleep efficiently, creating a huge snowball effect devastating the human body and psyche. However, we must understand that stress is not necessarily a bad thing. Stress acts as a great motivator in necessary times, but it is only harmful when it occurs excessively in one's lifestyle, resulting in countless health problems. Sleep deprivation not only impairs how a student works at the moment, but can leave long-lasting effects. The long-term effects of sleep deprivation include high blood pressure, greater risks of heart attack and stroke, obesity, and psychiatric problems. These long-term effects could affect your health and your communication skills in the long run. Hello, my name is Chelsea Lindayan and I am a sophomore here at American Canyon High School. Do you think grades are worth the struggle? I think grades are worth the struggle for me because in my family I was taught that a grade should be your main priority and even though they said you should keep, uh, keep your health above your grades, I feel like grades are, are one, of, one of your main priorities. The local effects of sleep deprivation are emphasized mainly on the overusage of antidepressants in America. According to the New York Times, Half of America's antidepressant use has a connection to sleep deprivation. If our generation is lacking sleep, the usage of antidepressants will increase immensely. This issue not only affects high school students, but lingers onto the college lifestyle. Noticeably, the worse in college, many students realize that they are not children anymore and are expected to be able to take care of themselves in the very near future. The pressure builds, resulting in the use of medications to cope with the stress and build up. As from 1994 to 2006, the number of antidepressant users in colleges in the U.S. has nearly tripled from 9% to 23%. These drugs include Zoloft, Prozac, Celexa, Paxil, and Lexapro, all addictive and having detrimental side effects like fever, internal bleeding and bruising, trouble sleeping, and anxiety. These medications have showed promise to fight against depression. However, an overuse of these substances contradicts the good effects with more health problems. How many hours of sleep do you usually get? <laughs> usually, I would get around five hours of sleep every day. What time do you usually sleep? One or two. <laughs> One or two a.m. <laughs> do you believe that grades are more important than health? For me, personally, I think grades are more, impo more important. Um, than your health. I think that you should, to be able to get good grades, you need to be healthy, but at the same time, I feel like grades should be more of an, more of an importance than your health, unfortunately. Do you usually stay up late for school-related subjects? 
Most of the time I stay up late, it's for school because I, I really like to put my best effort and usually I'm not a very fast worker. So whenever I stay up late, it's usually to put a lot of effort into my schoolwork. But despite all the trouble, it does not all necessarily pay off in the end. Every country has different ways of teaching. Compared to the United States, students in other countries are shown to have less amounts of stress or problems conflicting with their sleep schedule, allowing their students to have healthier, more relaxed lives. Other countries have different techniques of teaching. For example, schools in Finland have short school days, but they invest in school-sponsored educational activities that fill up the rest of the day. They believe there is a good portion of learning to be done outside the classroom, unlike the United States, which focuses on more of the technological aspect of learning. According to the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, Finland is second on the list of countries with the lowest amount of stress worldwide. The United States is 54th on the list of countries with the most amount of stress. While Finland's ranking on the program for international student assessment is 12, the United States is currently ranked 36. Certainly, many people are unaware of how harmful sleep deprivation really is. It is important to bring attention to this very serious issue. Raising awareness, however, is only part of the solution to this ongoing problem. While education plays a huge part in why students don't get enough sleep, the education system is not something we ourselves can change. According to ACHS school counselor Liliana Zemed, there are a few things students can do to help with their lack of sleep. Instead of going on your phone or watching TV, doing relaxing activities before you sleep, such as meditation, reading a book, or yoga, will allow for a more restful sleep. Hi, I'm Ms. Curley. I teach chemistry at American Canyon High School. Do you think the homework you give is too much for a student, or do you think it's a good amount? I don't think I give too much um, homework. I think it's a reasonable amount. Do you think it is possible that students can complete all of their homework and still go to bed on, at an early time? I mean, it kind of depends on what you mean by early and probably how many other activities they have going on. Um, I think a lot of students probably don't manage their time very well, so that's probably why they're up late finishing homework. So I think it is possible, it just, it's something that comes with like practice and maturity and good time management skills. Sleep deprivation relates to the world history theme science, technology, and the environment. Science and technology are constantly improving, and because of that, the way schools teach has changed drastically in the last decade. While more and more students switch from notebooks to MacBooks, it has become both easier and harder for students to complete schoolwork. Because of improved technology, the quality of projects and assignments have been raised to a higher standard. Having more work online would be considered more efficient for students to complete assignments. However, they are given more work. This has created an environment where students are pressured to have greater quality work, leading to many students often prioritizing their grades and work over their own health, leading to issues such as sleep deprivation. So, do you think that many students often stay up late and don't get enough sleep because of schoolwork? I think that students do stay up late and they don't get enough sleep and they are doing schoolwork. So yes, I think that they do stay up too late doing schoolwork. When you were a student, did you often find yourself stressed out and sleep deprived because of school? Um, stressed out and yes, yeah, sleep deprived, but that was probably more because I had a lot going on, like extracurriculars and sports. Um, I was pretty good at managing my time though, so I never really had to like pull an all nighter or anything like that. It is important that everyone understands how serious sleep deprivation is. Sleep deprivation is the result of the unhealthy habits of students trying to balance their busy schedules while maintaining their grades. It's become so common for students to put their grades before their health that many people don't recognize how harmful it really is, mentally and physically. It's crucial for teachers and other adults to be aware of what students do just to pass a class, and it is crucial for students to be aware that they are constantly putting their health at risk from pulling all-nighters so often. This issue is so important to us because there are so many stressed out and depressed students that dread school, when it should be a positive learning environment for everyone.